Hello everyone and thank you for tuning in to this special video relief. Today I talk about the disappearance of phantom braking. Yes, you heard it right. Disappearance of phantom braking. At least in my 2021 Tesla Model Y. Now, with a voluntary recall of software update by Tesla performed back in October. Now, before we begin with today's video, I want to mention again that my Tesla Model Y built June 18th, 2021 had vision only. There was no radar. So my vehicle was radarless and did have phantom braking. After the recall software update of my vehicle, the phantom braking disappeared completely. Now, before we jump right into this video, I also want to continue to state, I am in Canada, British Columbia. I did not, nor have I ever taken part in Tesla's full self-drive beta program. So I received that recall software update, even though I was not part of Tesla's full self-drive beta program. With that being said, now we can jump in to this video. Stay tuned, you are not gonna wanna miss it. Now, Tesla voluntarily recalled nearly 11,704 vehicles after identifying a software error that could cause a false forward collision warning or unexpected activation of the automatic emergency brake system, otherwise known as phantom braking. Let's get that straight right now. The National Highway Traffic and Safety Administration stated, all of the affected vehicles had early access to the automaker's full self-drive beta 10.3 and its advanced driver assistance system. The system, which is still in beta mode and requires the driver to be more attentive at all times, has been released to thousands of customers in recent weeks. Tesla said it was not aware of any crashes or injuries as a result of the software error. The over-the-air uh, firmware update, which was released on October 23rd, introduced what the regulator called a software communication disconnect between two onboard chips. The following day, Tesla uh, said it started receiving reports from customers. This communication disconnect can result in the video neuro networks that operate a chip uh, to run less consistently than expected. The safety, re uh, the safety recall reported uh, the inconsistency can produce negative object velocity detections uh, when other vehicles are present, which in turn can lead to false forward collision warnings and automatic emergency braking events, quote unquote, and my input, phantom braking. Affected vehicles include certain Model Xs, Model 3s, uh, manufactured between 2017 and 2021, and certain Model Ys, my vehicle, uh, that were manufactured between 2020 and 2021. Tesla has released a separate over-the-air update, uh, software update to address the issues and owners will be sent letters notifying them of the issue, uh, sorry, of the issues and uh, resolutions. Uh, I did receive a letter. Uh, in a matter of hours, we investigated the reports and took action to mitigate any potential safety risk, uh, Tesla said. The former recall is a marked departure from the California automaker's recent interactions with the country's top 
Automotive Safety Agency, which includes releasing a software update for a separate bug identified in its autopilot system last month, for which Tesla did not issue a recall. NHTSA sent a letter to the automaker on October 12th asking why it did not issue a recall. As Tesla is aware, the Safety Act imposes an obligation on manufacturers of motor vehicles and motor vehicle equipment to initiate a recall by notifying NHTSA or the National Highway Transportation Safety Administration uh, where they determine vehicle or equipment they produced contain defects related to motor vehicle safety or do not comply with an applicable motor vehicle safety standard, the agency wrote. I go on to state the regulator opened a separate investigation into autopilot in August after identifying 12 separate vehicle incidences where in which Tesla crashed into a parked emergency vehicle. Regarding this recall, NHTSA said it would continue its conversations with Tesla to ensure that any safety defect is promptly acknowledged and addressed. Now that's all for today's video, folks. Thank you so much for tuning in to this special video release. Again, I apologize for its late release. As many of you may have heard, uh, we are going through some flooding and other um, natural disasters here in British Columbia. So I apologize again. It is not easy for me to um, uh, upkeep uh, this being so new to YouTube. I'm still learning um, scheduling and video production, video editing, video release on YouTube. Thank you so much for your patience. Thank you so much for tuning in and watching my videos. I appreciate it. Many of you have probably realized by now that I differ so much in, um, in releasing videos, not just by Tesla, but like review videos and other videos that I'm doing on YouTube. I am a no BS um, YouTuber, new to YouTube. I'm still learning the ropes but I don't fool around when it comes to editing. I want my videos to be raw. I want you to see me for who I am and how I record my videos and how I release them as well. If you like it, subscribe and let me know, comment below and tell me what you think of my videos. Um, or don't tell me what you think of my videos, don't subscribe and I still appreciate you anyway. Thank you so much. Until next time for Tesla Talks and Lifestyle Solution 180, I'm your host, Mike Stowes. Until next time, bye for now.